Hello everybody, and I know it's been a while, but I also haven't received in a while. However, um, I have this week, and I did say if I did receive something from the Lord, I would post it or share about it here on YouTube. And I did feel the need to share this one. Um, I actually got a confirmation that I should share it. Um, the way I know is I asked the Lord if I should share this dream and I literally, I looked on YouTube, I looked at Jesus movies and then all of a sudden a video, like an old video of mine, uh, popped up in the search. Also, I already searched in Jesus movies and then all of a sudden my old video popped up right in between Jesus movies and about the rapture and that the Lord is at the door now. Um, that was the title of this one. And then I knew it was a confirmation from the Lord that I should share this dream with you guys. And so here I am <laughs> going to do that. Um, it started out with my brother, like my little brother was actually with me in this dream. And it was nighttime and we were walking it's just changed scenes i don't know what i've dreamed before but it just changed scenes and i was in the landscape and i was with my little brother and we were like walking on this path and let me tell you guys um it was night time and on the left was like an ocean even though it was like supposed to be a lake because right next to it on the right side so on the left side was like an ocean um and on the right side was woods so like normal woods um with like pine trees and like everything like that like a normal like european kind of like woods like trees everywhere and then in between that was that pathway. So we were walking into this pathway and all of a sudden like this ocean, I knew without even seeing a moon, without seeing the moon, I knew it was high tide because the ocean, like the waves, um, they were coming like crazy. Like they were out of control going back forth like I just knew in the dream that it had to do with the moon and I just knew it was like high tide so I also know that occurs when there's a full moon or a new moon so I just had to get that out there but I knew that in that dream so without seeing a moon and everywhere okay everywhere there were people standing like everywhere like and not just people really like they were fishermen like they were fishermen and they were tall and they were literally standing in the water like like how i'm saying like the water was going so uncontrollably um i mean it was coming like towards the shore like an ocean like going back and forth but like rapidly and me and my little brother were like walking into this and we were walking in water because i mean it was just coming and going like and like I said, there were everywhere was fishermen and they were like catching fish because this was the time to catch fish. Um and I knew in the dream like there was no and there was no other time that they could do that. Like that was like the perfect time for them to catch these fish. And it was it was crazy, you guys. I mean they were really like catching um like big fish. Like it was like amazing, but I mean I remember too, one of them was pretty tall and he had like no hair. Um, but like I said, like it was dark and yeah, like I just saw like many people like doing that when with like big rods, like big fishing rods. Like this wasn't like some like baby fish. Like they, I mean, this was like real, like the real deal. And I know with my brother, then all of a sudden I like, I sat down in the water but like I said, it wasn't like, um, like in the ocean, how you can like go further and then it gets deeper. It was like basically like a short type thing. But like the, like I said, because of high tide, like the water was just like so much of it that you could actually sit, um, and you'd be like halfway basically like in the water kind of thing. 
So I was doing that and I was collecting all these like fish and like these shrimps, like um, garnela, you guys, I, I can't really translate this word right now from, from English, although, but shrimps, but like bigger ones. <laughs> I, yeah, because um, I've been speaking too much German, that's why. But like I said, so like big, big, like big shrimps. So I'm getting them and they kind of like reminded they were like already done. Like they were ready, like ready to be like froze. Like, I don't know how to explain it. They look like they were frozen in a way. I don't know. Like they were ready, packed to go kind of thing. <laughs> um, and I'm like collecting all these like shrimps, everything that I could like get. And me and my brother, like my brother was starting to do that as well. And I remember telling my brother, um, we don't have a bucket to put all these in. So we have to try to get as many as we can. We have to try to hold as many as we can. And um, we're like collecting all these. I mean, I everything was like full. Like I'm like holding all everything I could. And I know the fishermen, like they had like their buckets and stuff. But like we didn't in the dream, but like like that's what I said to my brother. So we were like collecting all these, like I said, like really a handful until it really didn't go anymore. And then like at that point when it was done, when I like had all this, like it changed scenarios and my brother wasn't here now with me anymore. And I was all of a sudden standing in like this field, like widely ranged. Um, it's like a landscape, like everything was like plain, like a plain grass landscape a uh, plain sky blue like just everything was plain maybe with a few clouds and stuff and i could see all of a sudden like everything was scattered about everything like it didn't even matter like there were valuable things on the floor and family things on the floor um non-valuable valuable items on the floor like trash and stuff like it was just scattered everywhere like i saw pictures i remember seeing like a picture like a stack of pictures uh, of like people on there, like just like normal photos and stuff, like just laying around. And then I saw like dollar bills and stuff. Um, and then I saw as well, this is this is now the thing that the Lord really um, made sure that I remember. Um, okay, so in Germany we have euros, right? So we have like these Eurostücke, like our coins. Um, there's like two euros, one euros. So this was like the same concept. It looked just like that coin. It really did, it just looked just like that coin. Maybe I have one. Oh, here we go, yeah, I actually do have one. <laughs> if you guys can see. Something like that, yeah, you know. So it looked like that. It was supposed to be like that. Okay, however, here's the catch. It was like way bigger. It was like maybe this big. And <clears throat> it had the number 10 on it. And I'm like, in the dream, I remember me going, wow, like this is, this is like so different. I've never seen a Euro piece a euro coin that was worth 10 euros because like the two on there that'd be two euros so it's worth two like basically like two bucks kind of thing um but this was like a 10 piece i've just never seen that before i'm like so i'm like astonished by it because i'm like well, i didn't even know that existed like i said they were like this round and there and then i saw another one and i'm like getting all of them i'm like picking all of them up and they all had the number 10 on them and they all looked like that. Like I knew it was that, but like bigger and with the number 10 on it. And then I also, then there was another one. There was older types of them, like black looking ones, with the, but they all had the number 10 on them. And I'm like collecting these coins, like with the number 10 on them. Because I knew it was very, I knew it was valuable. Like it was really weird. Like I was collecting this because I knew it was valuable. Like it was, it was like, worth more than the 10 on it because it was so selten, sagt man dort dazu, um, rare, because it was like rare, basically. Uh, and then the dream stopped. So then the next day I was in school, it was like a confirmation with that dream because we watched a video 
um, yeah, exactly, we watched a video in school that we actually already watched before, but for some reason we watched it again. And there came a part where this person opened, it was like ovens, and they were like that size, and they were silver. Um, it's like a process of making stones, so they, but they were like huge circles. Um, exactly, and of everything, and then like I said, they were sieve, so it kind of like looked like the coin, and um, just instead of like the color, it just was pure silver, and out of every one that was there, and they were all numbered, out of every one that this person opened up was the number 10. So like, that was like, to me, I was like sitting in class and I was like, okay, that was very strange, very strange, because out of all the ones, I mean, he had to open up the number 10 and it looked just like the coin. I mean, that was really weird. But um, exactly, that is the dream I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I also did receive another one a few days ago. Um, but this was more like a vision um, three times. So also another confirmation that I saw this now three times and like the same thing. So that confirmed it to me as well. Um, I asked the Lord if he's coming this month and uh, because the number 10 to me is the month of October, like this is the 10th month. So, and like I said, you guys, I haven't gotten anything in a long, in a long time. Like I really haven't, but I did now. And I just like, why would the Lord send all of a sudden? He was like silent. And then all of a sudden, bam, like obviously it must be very important. Like something is with this 10. And however, so I asked him if we're going, if, if, if it's October. And I literally on the same day got these three visions. Um, before I fell asleep, I saw uh, a circle and it was outlined, outlined uh, gold. And within that circle, I was seeing white flashes like of light like balls, like ball of, light, uh, ball of light, like everywhere in the circle. And then it like irradiated. So it looks like if you were to put a ball, like if you were to throw a ball or something in the water and like that, the circles that radiates off of that from water, that's what it looked like everywhere. Like it was doing that. That was the first vision. So then the second vision, I remember it was like a landscape again, like a normal landscape with a grass field and like um, normal sky. And all of a sudden, again, like I was seeing outlines of like balls of light uh, occurring everywhere. Like, I mean, they were so bright, like it was, it was a vision, like, and they were white and they were occurring everywhere, appearing everywhere. Like in the sky and the grass, like they were just popping up everywhere. And, um, and the third one was more like a vision dream, like it was a vision dream. Like I was, uh, it felt like a fantasy world to be honest at this point, the third one, because I was, um, on a very, very high hill. Like I didn't even feel like I was on earth to be honest. I mean, it was just like where I was at. I mean, it was like, it was like fantasy. Um, I can't even imagine something like that being on earth, to be honest, but it was like a big, um, like it was snow, but it was like a pathway for like sledding. But let me tell you guys, it was so huge. And I was just like, on, I was just so high up somewhere. I don't know. And it was dark. Like again, it was dark and I was like getting ready like to go on the sled and to go this path and like the path was like that I mean it was yeah <laughs> it was like no side thing so like if I were to fall off like that's it you know um <laughs> but whatever I was on that hill and I looked into the sky and it was filled with stars and stuff and all of a sudden one star was getting bigger and then 
I saw the outline was like a big ball of light and I saw outline of angel wings. I saw like the wings and I saw all of a sudden the body, but it was filled with light. Like I didn't make out a face or anything like basically like it looked a body of like light with wings and it was moving and I knew I knew that this angel was coming to me and was leading me on this path. He was making sure I did not fall off this path that I was about to take with the sled. And he was moving, like he was coming, making sure. So I know this angel had something like, like his job was uh, to make sure I don't fall off. Like he was coming towards me. So exactly and then i went obviously like i was going i was already on the ride basically and like i knew this angel was like on the side like even though i didn't see him then anymore but i knew like at that moment he flew and made sure i didn't fall off of that hill and yeah so i just really wanted to share that with you guys i felt like um i felt like this time i had a dream and then i had a confirmation right after it and then i asked him if he's gonna come this month and then all of a sudden i got three visions and the number three for me uh, for me is also a confirmation especially having it on the same night and it was like literally going it was like it wasn't like one after the other it was it was like going throughout the whole night till the morning that i had these visions um then 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 I asked him if I should share this with you guys that and I did ask him that last night and for some reason I just had the need to type in something like totally I mean I typed in Jesus movies and I, I do that a lot and I've never had like one of my videos or anybody else's rapture videos pop up between like Jesus movies um, I thought that was strange. That to me was a confirmation and I just thought it was weird that it was one of my videos and it was titled Jesus is at the door. Um, <laughs> like that to me wasn't like a coincidence. That was really strange. So that to me was a confirmation and I, yeah, I'm sitting here now sharing it with you guys and I feel a lot I feel relieved, I feel very good. I know I'm doing the right thing. That I did share this now with you guys. Like I said, I'm not setting any dates or anything. I'm just sharing what um, the Lord has shown me. And that we shouldn't, even though sometimes, um, like I said, look how long it took now with me to receive something. That we shouldn't give up on the Lord. We shouldn't give up because sometimes we just have to be patient. He's also patient with us, so we should also be patient. And we shouldn't lose hope. We should keep the faith and then we shall receive. So I really wanted to share that with you guys. Um, like I said, I love you all. If we're going this month, then hallelujah. <laughs> I'm very really happy and excited then. Um, I always am looking out. Uh, it was just really nice that the Lord spoke this time again and he did put it in my heart to share it and I did do so and yeah, I just really wanted to share it now. Um, like I said, if anything, um, if I do receive something again, I will share it. So, alrighty, see you guys the next time then. Bye-bye.